What up guys? Panic here, otherwise known as Panic Picnic. And today we are on the PTR. And if you have been living under a rock like I have for two months, I am sincerely apologize. I have missed you. Um, we are going to be looking at the new character that was just released. Like I said, if you've been living under a rock for the past two days, boom. And this character's name is... Arissa! That's right, Overwatch finally has a new character that has been revealed and is currently live on the PTR. Now that's pretty damn nifty if, you, if I say so myself. That being said, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at things that you can get from those delicious, glorious, and totally amazing loot boxes. That's right, we're going to be going for her skins, we're going to be emotes, victory poses, voice line sprays, highlight intros, and of course her golden weapon. That being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Let's go ahead and look at what we got. Classic, this is pretty much uh, everything you're going to be seeing right now. Uh, overall, I think this is a really interesting character design. Like, um, like pretty, I really enjoy this character design. I think it's pretty cool. I enjoy the quadruplet. I think it's definitely different. It really separates her, like just her character design itself, from pretty much everything else that you're going to see in Overwatch. You pretty much do get that Omnic, so, um, you do get that Omnic feel to it. As she is a giant robot and almost looks like a mismatch, mismatched of parts, mainly from the head. But I really like the fact that it does, um, it does add a completely different character design. That being said, it does look kind of like a Native American inspiration style or a um, a tribal thing, like as the inventor was um, from the origin stories. But I th overall, like I said, I think it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Let's look at Dawn. Overall. I really like this skin. I think it's pre I think it's pretty cool. Nothing's really changed other than the other than the coloration. That's pretty much all you're going to be getting for the, really these green ones, and even sometimes the purple one. Uh, this one really here. This is almost looks like a Gundam to an extent. Almost it looks just like you, something you'd see pretty much out of anime. It's almost got an anime an anime esque coloration. I think it's pretty cool. This is definitely something one I would probably pick. I would most likely pick up for this character. <laughs> And I'm pretty excited for this one, this, especially for a 75 cost skin, and I've only got 275 gold, at least in the PTR. So, like I said, I think I think this one's pretty cool. Let's go and look at planes. Uh, this one's pretty cool. This one's pretty nifty. It's almost kind of boring, really subtle. I mean, I really like the gold thing that it's got going up here, at least the green and yellow coloration. Outside of this one, I if I unlock this in a box, I mean, I, I'd, I'd be okay. But I'd, like I said, I'd really want the Dawn one if I'm not going to buy it myself. Uh, if we look at the sun, oof, ugh. I'm not a big fan of this one, uh, the Sunrise one. It is 75 gold, but it does look like a big old glass of pink lemonade. Not a fan of this one. Yeah, I mean, the coloration's cool. I mean, like I said, it's going to be one of those... It's like those guys you see in pink shirts. I mean, I wear pink shirts, so I can't really complain. <laughs> but it's not, it's not the coolest one. It's not the best one, in my opinion. Like I said, I think the Dawn one, by comparison, is pretty cool. Um, like... Sunrise probably could come in like a close second. I would rather have like Sunrise over Planes. Now let's look at Twilight. Oh God, no! This one looks like a big old Barney. Uh, I mean, like I said, it's I love the I I think it's a cool character, but I'm not a fan of this skin. Not at all. Let's go and look at Camouflage. I mean, this gotta be something cool. I really like this one. This is when I really like them. This is when you're gonna get that really more robotic feel to it. I love the fact that it's. It looks like the logo changed as well. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, the logo definitely changed. I think this one's for Nubani or something like that. I love the camouflage. You got a little bit of a rhino thing right here. I mean, that's pretty cool. Like, if I got, if I unlock this one on the loot box, I would be pretty happy. Like, I'm, I actually, I think this one's. I think so far, I'm gonna put this one over here with Dawn and Sunrise. I think this is a pretty top rated, pretty highly rated skin. Look at carbon. F oh my God! I want it. I want this for Christmas. I want this for my birthday. I want this for whatever holiday I can get free crap on. This is a skin I'm totally buying. I love it. It's got that anime feel. Not a huge fan of the face. It's a little flat for me. But like I said, this one's really militaristic. It doesn't. It's like camouflage right here. This one looks okay by comparison but this one right here i think this one's pretty badass it looks really more menacing than pretty much anything else but let's let's go ahead and see where else we got dynasty Oof. oh wow this looks like something you'd almost see out of uh no man's sky yeah i'm gonna go with that it looks like something you'd see out of no man's sky but like it does look like i like the beetle thing i mean this is a pretty cool ass skin i mean she does have some pretty cool 1000 gold skins Except for this one. This one looks like someone who got Ebola. This one's okay. Not a huge fan of it. 
I really love the Dynasty one and I love the Carbon Fiber one only because black and sleek. Pretty pretty damn cool. This Mega Soma, I'm not really a huge fan of. I mean, I mean, it does have some cool features. Like, I love the little spikes and stuff like that. It does have that more beetle aspect to it. But, I mean, like I said, I wouldn't probably buy this one. I do love the fact that it almost is, almost is kind of gold. So it might go pretty well with a gold weapon. Uh, other than that, it's nothing really too good to write home about. Let's look at Protector. Ah, well, we got our full-fledged white skin again. It's pretty much going to compete with Dynasty. Like, of course, everyone's going to love the white skin. It's so sleek, so elegant. It's so cool. Um, it's not as cool as pretty much the other ones, but uh, I pretty much, like, in terms of the gold one, I love the carbon fiber one only because the black one, it, the green goes really well with it. In terms of the protector, the green and white combination, in my opinion, does not go well together. Uh, and the Dynasty one, I really love this blue. I love this one. It's a, it's a cross between, like, a fish, a beetle. I don't know. I would totally probably buy this one on the Mega Soma, in my opinion. Even though I just did trash talk it, I'd rather have the Dynasty one. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and look at the emotes. We've only got two of these, which kind of sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the Heroic one. Let's go ahead and play it out. You know, it's actually not bad of a Heroic emote. It's pretty simple, simplistic, pretty much what you'd expect for a free emote. But like I said, I think it's pretty cool. And mainly probably because it's just a new character. Let's go ahead and compare it to the other ones. Let's look at Halt. Bro, you look like a freaking crossing guard. Uh, this one right here is one of those meme ones I would probably get if I'm just going to spam and have fun. Other than that, in terms of like overall excitedness for this, I would troll the hell. I would troll the hell out of people with this one. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Other than that, I'm not a huge fan of it in terms of like a serious perspective. But I would probably buy that. I, I'm not even going to lie. I enjoy that one. It's like a kicking dirt. Oh, nope. Halt loses. Halt loses hard. Look at this. Look how cute this is. It's a giant robot. Look at the freaking eyes. You can't say you don't enjoy it. Look at this. He's like, uh, uh, uh. Look at the eyes. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah it's so good. It's so cute. I actually like that one. I would totally buy Kicking Dirt. Let's look at the victory poses. We've got heroic. It's kind of weird. It's not very heroic. This is like, hmm. It's like I'm just going to shoot something. Confident. Uh, this one's okay. Let's see. We've only seen two. Let's see what else we got. We got Flex. All right. We got his page out of Zarya's handbook. I actually like this one. Especially for 75. I mean, I really enjoy that one. That's pretty cool. Or you could get Halt. Like I said, that face right there is terrifying, yet odd and awkward at the exact same time. I'd probably go, personally, I would probably go for, I'd probably go for, um, actually, I probably would get Halt. It just looks awkward enough to probably warrant it. That one, if or if you had like a bunch of Orisas, like if you had like if you're doing um, uh, no limits, a bunch of these doing flex would be pretty hilarious, or even halt, or if you just had uh, Orisa and Azaria, I mean I think that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> so what else we got? We got voice lines. What? What is this? No, no wonder we don't got any damn items. There's only one. Following my pro... Well, how am I supposed to make something off of this? I'm simply following... Did they did the Zar Did they get the Symmetra character to do this? Hang on. Hold on. Let me, get, let me play it one more time. It almost seems, sounds like they got the same actor for Symmetra to play this. I mean, I could be wrong. Um, I mean, I think it's pretty cool, though. Let's see what else we got. Sprays. Have we got any sprays for this character? All right, we got. We do have sprays. We do have the squinty face, which is pretty much uh, like it. Like I said, this is pretty much the, all the things you'll be able to see over here. We have amused. This one's pretty cool. I actually like that one. We have carving. Not a huge fan of this one. I mean, it's pretty subtle. Like it's just in terms of its coloration, it kind of does look boring, in my opinion. But let's see what else we got. We have city of harmony. This one's pretty cool. It's like a like a little wild horse running free free in the plains. That riding that was pretty nifty. We have cleaning. Not a fan of this one. Eh, not a fan. I think this one's kind of boring, like kind of subtle. But like, eh, I wouldn't personally get. I w if I got this in a loot box, I'd be a little disappointed. Companions. I really like this one. I think this one's pretty cool. Uh, I love, um, I wish the fact that she was in the game, uh, and then you could just, like, summon the robot. I think that would be pretty cool, too. I think, like, I really like this one. Construction. Nah. 
Oh yeah, you almost get like a Torbjorn feel with this one, or a Bastion. Like imagine if like the robot's Bastion, and then you have the bird, and then that would just be the bird on Bastion, and the Bastion's happy. Construction. Eh, not a fan of this one. This one's pretty cool though. Um, I would definitely like this one better than cleaning. All right, we got a Beatles logo almost. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. Um, uh, even got the little halt pose going. We have cute. Unlock by completing the overclocked achievement. We're going to be looking at those achievements and how to get those as well. Let's see what we've got. We have drumming. Not a fan of this one. And the reason why is she's not really um, the character itself. If it was that, if it was Orissa itself drumming, I would think that'd be pretty cool. We have Guardian. Oh, wow. This, this is menacing. This is suspenseful. I really like this one. I don't think this one's actually pretty cool. I probably end up buying this one myself. Oh, I like this one. This one's pretty cool. You almost got, a, to be honest, I almost have like an X Files uh, feel, vibe to it. That, or I have a um, like an early star, like the old Star Wars photo, like the old Star Wars posters where you have Luke Skywalker holding up a lightsaber. I almost get that kind of feel. I would pro most likely buy this one. This, this looks like a really uh, cool, like Disney, maybe a Pixar or a DreamWorks movie that could just be released in a few years. I, I think this one's pretty cool. We have Icon. I'm not a fan of this one. I mean, like I said, I'd probably want either like uh, companions or something like that since they're all 25. Even Guardian. I'm just, I guess I'm just not a fan of this one. A little too minimalistic for me. Just Dessert. This one's pretty cool, but like I said, I, if you're, if Blizzard's going to do like character, I'd like for them to at least be like more of a prominent role instead of just the creator. We have Kick. With, uh, I mean, that's, that's okay. I mean, I personally wouldn't do it, use it myself. We got Pixel. Like I said, we're going to be going through how to unlock these um, achievements and how to get these emotes really quick as well. We have Protector. Oh, so that's what that logo means. Hmm, nifty. This one's pretty cool. I actually enjoy, I actually enjoy this. I enjoy the symbols. It's pretty nifty. We have Shield. Ha! <gasps> Zulu! Oh, my God. If you've, uh, on a completely different side note, there is a um, movie. It's called Shaka Zulu. Totally would recommend it. And that being said, this just totally reminds me of it. And I'm not going to lie. Uh, when this character releases, I'm probably going to buy this because it's one of my favorite movies. We've got Stop. Like I said, this character almost comes out as a fat crossing guard that you'd see in front of a, like an elementary school. With, with, just with the hall icon and how she does it. just It sounds weird. I mean, I went to an elementary school. It just reminds me of that person. This one's really cool. I really enjoy this one. This is obviously the alt that's being done. So we've got, we've got Swing. Not a fan of this one, only because it almost makes no damn, it, only make, it almost makes no sense. So we've got tracks. This one's kind of boring, but I mean, you've got some Bigfoot going on. We've got, move. this one's pretty cool. Oh, this one's pretty cool. This one's definitely going on the wheel. Dang. I'm going to spend all my money on freaking, hi, on freaking sprays before I get a, <laughs> before I get a stinking um, skin for her. Dang. I really, I like this one though. I like this one. This one's just called Crossing. This one's pretty cool. Let's see what have we got. That looks like pretty much everything else. Oh, that being said, let's go ahead and look at the Season 4 ones. We've got the Season 4. This one's really cool. This is going to be in that, um, oh, God, I'm, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, the Asian-themed uh, one, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh, I really like this one. I'm going to get, I'm, I mean, I'm a little disappointed I didn't get the top 500 one for this one for Volskaya because I really love the snow. But I'm probably going to get the top 500 for this one. And if you didn't know, I ended in silver because I'm trash. <laughs> but I really like this one. This one's pretty cool. Um, this one, dang, I'm actually kind of jealous. That one's pretty cool. We've got highlight intros. Let's, let's look it up. We have heroic. Eh. I mean, yeah, it's okay. It's like keeping you safe. This one's pretty cool. I don't, this one almost gives me that um, that Mercy or like that Anna vibe when Mercy, for instance, shoots a gun. I mean, or heals and then shoots a gun. And for Anna, I get that, look, there's a sleep dart. And then she turns around and pulls the gun out. This one almost, and I do play a lot of Anna. So this one does remind me of that um, highlight intro for Anna. We've got O. Oh, I love this one. This one, this character gives me a Bastion feel. And what I mean by that is you get a huge character that, in my opinion, could almost look either menacing or devilish, especially with the horns. 
but you get a really happy childlike with it. So I really like how um, Overwatch really does that with character design, or Blizzard in general does uh, with character creation. And I think this one's this character is going to be really cool, if not pretty iconic. Uh, the so what we got? We have Supercharger, which is pretty much her using her ult. Not a fan of this one. Like I said, if I was going to buy one or get hopefully get one in the loot box, I would totally want O, which is O H exclamation mark. Just hello, I just killed your team. Let's see what we got. The last thing we've got is we got the golden weapon. Let's check it out. This is our basic weapon. Oh, pretty cool. Dang that thing. How does it hold two hundred rounds? Oh well. Let's look at that in golden. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Not a fan. It doesn't show. I wish it would have um, highlighted more of like this sun part right here. And I'm petty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm petty. <laughs> Overall, I think this one's really cool. Um, I almost get like um, a Dark Souls Solaire. So I guess that's the reason I want it like that. That being said, I wonder if it change if it would change the color of the bullets because um, this one right here looks silver, and then when you change it, it turns gold right here with the gold tip. I wonder if it would if it would change the color of the bullets. This right here is like. I would totally just buy the hell out of it. That being said, um, overall, I really, do, um, to wrap up this video, I really enjoy this character. Uh, I really love the um, the development that they put into this character. I'm a little disappointed, probably like 90% of people, that this is not Doomfist. But, um, and honestly, I thought this character was an April Fool's joke because Blizzard is known. I thought it was going to be like a Sombra thing where it's like, here's a, here's a character that's probably fake or whatever and then on april fools we get a doom fist um other than that though i'm really excited for this character i'm actually kind of um kind of surprised like i said um i did expect doom fist but this character is pretty much it does beat some of my expectations the abilities are pretty cool uh, if you didn't know this gun does hold like 200 rounds doesn't do a whole lot of damage though it's not really a hit scan as there is lag between weapon shots so there is a downside to that but the spread is minimal like it when you fire that that ridicule doesn't go anywhere so pretty much wherever you're gonna shoot you're gonna hit <clears throat> um, unless the target's really far away uh, the right click does do a sh um, a shot and then what it does is it almost does like a Zarya thing where it does like the graviton way, the graviton surge, where it pulls things in, but it only does it for a short time, and it's only for enemies within like uh, that are with that can actually see the ball, so it's like the, within line of sight of the ball itself, so you can shoot it around corners and stuff. Um, the ability, um, she does have a, an ability where she shoots a projectile shield, kind of like Reinhardt's, but it only has like 800 HP. It does shoot it in little arcs, so it's gonna be a little hard to hit for long ranges, but for short ranges, it's pretty cool, and it stays there for a uh, for a good amount of time. Uh, her ult is she slams this little drum on her back, like you see in the highlight intro for Supercharger. Be like, ah, oh, boom. And what that does is just going to increase the attack damage of your allies. Uh, it's got a quite long range. So, I mean, I would totally recommend it. It's pretty cool. That being said, I would totally recommend you downloading the PTR and at least trying out this character before she does become live. So you can easily, easily pwn some noobs. That being said, um,. There's also a surprise. I've been gone for two months, if you haven't noticed. I haven't published in a while. And Blizzard has released a new character. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of a giveaway. It's a for a $20 Battle.net gift card. Uh, this is going to la this is gonna run for about, like, um, I'm going to run it for two weeks. Two, two to three weeks, uh, probably. Yeah, I'll run it for three weeks. And uh, I'll pick a winner. And I'll give you a, tw and I'll link you guys a $20. And I'll pick... All you have to do is like, comment, and subs be subscribed to my channel. The comment can pretty much be anything, whether you like what I do on this channel. Whether you hate what I do, I'll, pro I'll, still, give you, I'll still give you a Battle.net gift card. Even if you tell me I suck. <laughs> I still love you guys. Uh, that being said, um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video for a chance to win a $20 Battle.net gift card. And I really hope Blizzard does do some more voice lines. That is really my biggest complaint with this character. They're probably, they probably just went ahead and threw it out right now. Because um, it's been a minute since we've got really anything. They probably want something out for Season 4, which is pretty cool. Maybe the, And if we're lucky, maybe they're doing some Doomfist. And we may be getting back-to-back -back hero releases as well. Because even in um, um, her oh, and her cinematic, uh, Doomfist is mentioned. Like I said, I am super hyped for Doomfist as well. I, am, um, kinda can, um, I don't really know a whole lot about this character in terms of gameplay-wise. But we'll go ahead and get right into that later. That being said... 
I hope to see you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys at the picnic table. And to join the picnic table, just hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Love you guys. Bye.